Hi, in this video I will show to you core workout consisting of a variety of core exercises. I selected these exercises in such a way that they target different parts of the core, however the focus is on the abs, so the upper abs, middle abs and lower abs, but also the obliques. Um, I also included some rotation, stability and balance, because I think this adds some more benefits to the workout. So in general you will not only involve your abs, but also other parts of the body, and I hope you will feel that after the session or maybe at least the, the next day. So as I started this workout during COVID-19, I came up with a brilliant idea, let's do 19 exercises of each 19 times, but of course this was more like a kind of fun idea. Feel free to do fewer exercises or fewer repetitions. However, I think you should give each exercise a try, maybe not in a row, but just try out each exercise and let me know what you think of it, because uh, I think there are some fun exercises in it. One other remark, in general I would say quality over quantity. So I think in general it's better to do fewer exercises with good form than just hammering in one exercise after the other and compromising the form. Um, however, this is also intended as a kind of core challenge to challenge yourself. So uh, this is not my regular core training, but um, I started doing this every once in a while. And uh, I think it's also a good full body workout in the end. So this just as a general remark, I do not recommend just doing a lot of exercise with a lot of repetitions if you cannot do them properly. I think I'm, on, I'm not sure whether I can do the 19 in a row with a really 100% correct form, but as I said, it's also kind of challenge and uh, I do this like uh, every once in a while. It's not my regular core routine. Well, I think enough talking. Without further ado, let's get started. I will now briefly show you each exercise and then after this we will start with the actual workout and you can follow along if you want to, you should. But I will also put into the description the links to each exercise, at least where I originally found them, so that you have some other reference if you're interested. So first, X-Men Crunch. You lay on the floor in the X position, and then crunch up and move like this. So I put it as the first exercise because I think if you're doing it at the end or in the middle of the workout, it's way more challenging because it's not an easy exercise. Then, bicycles. So you can lay on the floor, legs like this, and then right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. If you can't do it like this because this is more challenging, you can also put the legs like this and then crunch like that. Then seated in arms. So we are like this. You can try to lift your legs a bit. If it's not possible for you, it's too hard, just put them on the floor. Then you're like this and crunch. In and really try to crunch to your chest. Then we have the hands to toes or toe taps. I'll put like this. Lay on the back, straight legs. And then like this. You do not need to touch your toes, but try to do this movement. Then the straight leg sit up. So we lay on the floor like this and then go up like that. So then next, the leg raise. So you lay on your back, legs like this. You raise the legs and if you can, you can try to lift the lower body or the legs up. Try not to go too far like this because then uh, this is easier, but try more or less a 90 degree angle, if you can. Then levitation crunch. Uh, it's basically a regular crunch, just that you stop at the top for two, three seconds. So, Go like this and hold this position for 2-3 seconds. And this is the levitation crunch. Then we have figure eights. Um, nothing to do with ice climbing. You go on your back again. And basically you're drawing an eight with your legs. And one eight is one repetition. I really like this one. Then we have the first plank variation. There will be several ones. This is alternating throughout the needle. So you go on the low plank, then arm up, and then rotate like this. Up again, and then alternating, so you go to the other one, like this, and really try to rotate in, and like this. Then we have the serpentine planks, and this variation is a bit more challenging. So you go in the high plank position, Basically, you're doing serpentines or eights on the floor. If this is at this point of the workout too hard for you, you can also, for instance, do it like this. 
but in the video from Athenex, Betty explains different variants. Then the next plank variation, step through plank. So low plank, and then right leg to the left hand side, left leg to the right hand side. Then we have the side jabs. So if possible, you can try to lift your legs, otherwise just keep them on the floor. So like this, and then you go like this. Then the up circles, you can start in this position, and then you're basically drawing a circle with your leg. And if you're doing a bigger circle, it's harder, and then of course also you can do it in the other direction. Then we have the windshield wipers. I've already shown them in my previous workout video for bordering strength. Here you're doing a windshield movement. Try to do it slowly and do not bump on the floor, but stop some time before. Yeah, so this is it. Then the upper circle crunch. Um, similar to regular crunch, but you're drawing like an upper circle while you're crunching. And of course, you can also do it in a different direction. Next, Spider-Man Crunch. So you go on the low plank, and then knee to elbow. Then the side plank, knee to elbow. So side plank position, left arm up, and then elbow to knee and of course also this one you can do with the other a ling on the other elbow then yet another superhero the superman plank so i plank position and then it's a bit about balance and then like this so this can be a bit tricky because it's um, also about balance but i like it yeah and last but not least the dead bug Leg like this, legs like this, arms straight, and then like this, and then the other side. So one general remark, um, if you're laying on your back like this, for instance for the leg raise or so other exercises, try to keep contact with your lower back on the floor and not to arc like this because this just puts unnecessary pressure on your lower back. But I think, chop chop, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. First, the X-Men Crunch. Try to keep contact with your lower back on the floor. No, I forgot counting. I think this is eight. Already good start. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. The X-Men Crunch is not easy. Next bicycle. Out, seated in out.
hands, hands to toes. This Great length it up. leg raise. Quarter done. Also you try to keep the contact with the low back. Next is slightly easier one, the levitation crunch. Twelve. 
17. Alternating thread the needle. So we'll start with serpentine and maybe then I will go on with the easier ones. We are not nearly done. How about it is?
und die drei was. Try not to rush through it, because then it's easier. Silk crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Side planks need to elbows. for my flags. I really don't like them. Especially at the end. So this is also good for keeping balance. Eh? Oh, 
almost done on the dead box. Luckily, these are quite easy. As you can see, they require some coordination, which I don't have. I think that's all. And as you can see, I'm sweating quite a lot. Okay, so um, before I go take a shower, um, if you follow along until there, until now, uh, I'm very happy about it. Congratulations. Please let me know what you think about the program. Um, as I said at the beginning, um, usually I think quality is over quantity, but every once in a while I'd like to do something like this because I think it's a really good workout and it really activates everything in your body. Yeah, so I um, actually have a list of several more exercises and sometimes I just mix it up and uh, exchange one, two, three, four exercises with other ones because I think in general it's a good idea uh, with core exercise to just mix it up, not just with course, with others but just to mix it up and get in some variation because if you're always doing the same thing I think you do not gain that many benefits. So I hope you liked it and if you liked it please leave a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and let me know what you think about it. And maybe also to challenge some people out there. Um, so I will forward it to two of my favorite YouTubers, so Eric Carlson and Matt Proom. And especially Matt, you're keeping the community updated during this whole uh, COVID-19 situation, so maybe you enjoy it too. Uh, but also all the others out there, please just try it out if you like it. And uh, yeah, I think now for me it's time to take a shower. And um, yeah, it's good. So have a nice day and enjoy the training.